Hey guys, before we get started on the video today, I wanted to talk about um, a couple of things real quick. I do have an, a TCG player, if you guys want to help support the channel. Anything that I sell on here, I usually use towards the channel. Um, whether it be better equipment, uh, more video ideas, things like that, that I can spend on working on it, I use it for that. As well, I have a uh, eBay channel that I do sell regularly, pretty regularly, sorry. Uh, deck cores as well as other kind of card game stuff and things like that so you'll see a lot more of that coming up here on this channel too so please reach out to me on ebay if you're coming from the channel and just say hey true saw your video i'm interested in this item and i'll throw you an extra discount okay uh but that's it for me so let's get back to the video peace hey guys true night back here so tonight i wanted to talk about a deck that i've been cooking up in my head for probably a little while. I did a profile on it like three months ago, previous format, four months ago. Um, nobody really watched it, so I'm kind of trying it one more time before I probably move the deck core, but this is the deck that brought me up in the game. It's the highest I ever placed at a regional. Um, had the most fun with it. It's the best I ever played with Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, and just overall, best time I had with it. So, let's get right into it. <coughs> So, it's the Teller Runic. Um, probably one of my favorite decks of all time, right up here with Sword Soul. So, I started out with Noble Knight, moved into the Teller Knight, and then moved into Sword Soul later on. So, or, well, Metal Thaw, and then Zodiac, Metal Thaw, and then Sword Soul. <laughs> but anyway, let's get around it. So, starting out, running three. Uh, Altair. This is my favorite card in the whole entire game, in the history of the game. I love this art. Um, the story behind Satellar is insane. Love the story too. <laughs> you guys should check it out sometime. Uh, Satellar Knight Deneb. Run three of. You want to search with her. Usually the old combo would go search, Altair, then use a trap to resurrect Altair next turn, bring her out, go into your XYZ. Always search Altair with the Uh New Satellar Knight I'm using is Lyran. So as long as you control a Seller Satellar card, you can special this. So this is your extender from the hand when you already have a monster in it. And then your main extender of all time is Vega. Um, once you summon Vega down, you can special out another Satellar Knight from him. To Satellar Bridge. So, this is a great card for going first. You could summon Deneb, activate uh, Deneb, search, and then play this chain. It lets you go and put Deneb back in the deck, and then you can special out Vega, and then Vega can pop off, special Deneb back out, and you can just continue there. Or, I'm sorry, not spell Chain Deneb, but you could special out like a Nuclei back in the day, or Altair, things like that. So, it was really, really good to help you get to a turn one XYZ. Cool. Uh, and then one Rota. Pretty simplistic there. Um, six of the nine trap or yeah, nine traps we play. We play the ultimate negate. Um, it's the best negate you could have in archetype for your deck. Um, it is slow. You want to go first in this deck. You want to draw this because you have no way to search it. That's why, like, Sword Soul kind of evolved from Stellar Knight, because they could search out their blackout, I think. Um, funny story, I think what really turned me on to Sword Soul was when I was coming back to the game. I heard a guy on stream say, guys, Stellar or Sword Soul is just Stellar with Synchros. And I was like, oh, no wonder if I like it. <laughs> uh, and then finally, three Call of the Haunted. This is your way to, if you put the Neb in the grave, or Altair goes to the grave or something, you can flip this, special out Altair, special out the Neb, combo off, kind of do your thing. So, that is it for this Teller Knight engine. Overall, I really love this engine. It has been power prepped to death. It is a very, by no means is this a rogue deck even. This is just simply out of my joy. I wanted to throw it off because I've been thinking about it for a while, but um, 
typically in this deck you would play this lineup and then like 20 traps. That's what you did back in the day. Um, now in this version I'm doing different. Playing the Runic Engine. So 2 Fountain, uh, 3 Tip, 3 Flashing Fire, 3 Curses, 3 Destruction, 1 Sumber, and 1 Swifting Storm. So nothing really too special there. Um, it's just your typical runic deck. You just want to be able to go into this stuff, protect the castle. Okay. Um, and then for non-engine, playing two talents, and finally three evenly. So for going safe. So um, living crazy again, guys. Forty-one card main. It's really fun. I enjoy it a lot. Have a great time with it. Uh, extra deck is very simplistic in nature. Two trigger. Um, this card is a compulse for the entire field. It's really great to use to... You could just essentially activate all your stuff. Um, compulse, set a couple of cards, do your runic stuff, and say go. And then you also can rip a card out of your opponent's hand at random. And then it does have recursion if it's sent to the graveyard, I think, by destroyed or something like that. Uh, Deltaros, the original. I uh, love this card, it's just a you use three Stellars to pop card. <laughs> Ptolemaeus going into Ptolemaeus. Uh, this is the old combo going first where you can stack up on your cards and then go into a bigger XYZ. Not really using that version for that, so. And then Diamond, this was a big huge defense against Burning Abyss back in the day. It's great against Dark Monsters. Um, the obligatory Tower Knight card is Tsukiyomi, uh, Bujin Tower Tsukiyomi, you detach to draw two, I think. Um, now for toolbox stuff, I play the Castell, uh, number 101, and Exiton of course, just board wipe, take control, destroy. And then I do play the Bros, I just think they go pivotal in this deck, you XYZ like crazy, and your opponent's going to special summon it. And then for the runics, we play two vegan, one gear. So nothing special there. So, I guess, I guess, overall, this is a fun pet deck of mine. I really love it. I had a lot of fun with it, playing it, and all back in the day. I really miss those days, kind of, sometimes. So, set me down, and I'll build this deck and just mess around with it. Do test hands, mess around with like Ben Rear and hand traps and all that kind of stuff. Just to, just to try it out. So, but that'll be it for me, today, guys. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe to the video. It really helps me go a long way. And please, 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 be kind, be respectful, and uh, keep an eye out for more videos to come. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.